one of my main concern was to be able to see other people in the region doing what we're doing and maybe more especially when it comes to filmmaking uh, we have a space but we haven't been able to do any kind of uh, proper screening or film festival because we don't have that back there so everybody in the collective was lacking such knowledge so I was so inspired to come here and meet other people from the region and creatives who have been working in film festivals and screenings and such things. So what made me to really feel like I have to come, that I, have, I need to understand how and what is the process and the stage and the steps of organizing a film festival in which I got, I got a lot. So this is going to sound very general, but technically all the people that came, all the let's call them facilitators that came, they had, they just gave it everything, you know. It's like they knew there was little time and they may not see us again. So they try to feed us as much information as possible, try to uh, merge it with what we already know. And, you know, it's like, I want you guys to know this. I want you to remember it and I want you to work on it. Um, the first thing, um, when I saw Cinema Without Borders, the first thing that came to mind is can I hold a festival outside of Kenya? Can I hold a festival without being afraid or hiding? How can I get equipped? And that is the, one of the expectations I came with, I came in with. In addition to ex, um, expecting to interact with people, network and broaden my, 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 my network, which is also my net worth, um, I, was, I really wanted to know how best can I do a festival without being limited by certain boundaries. Actually, uh, as someone coming from Burundi, we don't know much, especially when it comes to film-related issues, whether festival, whether uh, film production and so on. So I wanted to learn a lot, maybe done more than people here. So I was like, how? How do you make it a success? How do you prepare it? How do you produce it and be really make the impact you're expecting to see? That's what uh, I was expecting and good enough. It's there, actually, yeah. <laughs> In these four days, my expectation was even better made. Let me say 125 percent because not only I got to know what I was looking for, but I got also additional information, additional knowledge than what was uh, planned, that all what was I was expecting. So after these four days, I be like, I'm like. I can't wait to go back home and change things and make social change I was expecting for actually. My thinking about film festivals and film screening totally shifted. Uh, I always looked at human rights issues in a way of, because uh, I do a lot of photo documentary photography and I watch documentaries alone. I wasn't able to attend a place where displaying proper kind of a storytelling and issues related to human rights. So for, for, for us to be able to mix all of that and create a platform, a space where people come to come watch documentaries and human rights related issues that can impact in their own life and be able to later on discuss about it and be activated to create change is something very inspirational. Being in a festival that has run for 25 years, you, you gotta find a way to you know, bring something new to the table. So, okay, there's been a system, it's clearly working, but what else can we bring to this table? So I, I came in here wanting to learn how to manage a project, you know, to be a project manager, how to be a better communications person. And for now, I'm going to tell you that I know, for instance, the funniest thing, and maybe it's one of the highlights, is that all this time, all these things we've been listing as objectives, they were never objectives, really. They were means to an end. Uh, <clears throat> this program, yes, of course, has changed a lot of things because it uh, so give us some doors to see uh, other film festivals around the continent and around the world as well. So that will help us to have networking 
so that we can be part of uh, some East Africa film festival like Kenya, Tanzania, and other of uh, East Africa, and as well in Africa and abroad the world. So in this program, we, we got some number of festival, list of festival, and that is going to give us understanding after going reading all about this festival. That's kind of like giving us a basic and foundation of organizing a festival in South Sudan. In these uh, four days, the first thing is be simple in what you're doing and be exact. That, that, that's the first thing that marked me. The second one, please, instead of looking money, look for friends because they will give you what you feel like before everything. Another thing is in what you're doing, stay safe because that's also you can't do it when you're not safe when you're not there so stay safe You guys, you're working with docu books and the cinema with the boulders. We were like, okay, even though our, our background may not be on the level like other filmmakers, but you gave us a space to, to, to be us and to be to ask our questions and to be really us and to, 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 to try to share with you what we really want. And good enough, we, 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 we got what we needed. Um, so I want to say this on behalf of the team that was here, every single person that was present in this place feels um, that this has been the most impactful time. And uh, I know people are going back with so much zeal and, 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 and the, 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 the oomph to just carry this thing, these festivals. Um, so this is just a special thank you. A very special thank you from deep down our hearts um, as, as participants, as beneficiaries. Actually, I want to not use participant and use beneficiary. As beneficiaries of Cinema Without Borders, Horn and East Africa 2022, we are totally grateful to DocuBox, which was the host um, organization here in Nairobi. And thank you so much to Movies That Matter uh, from the Netherlands. For, for making this happen and for thinking about East Africa, you know, and for thinking about the Horn of Africa. We are extremely grateful. We would not have done it. We would not have done it in any other way. Um, to Julie and Tess, the Netherlands um, Embassy the, here in Nairobi, we are truly grateful for this opportunity. We would not have had it in any other way. And we wish make sure that this goes out and something is bathed from Cinema Without Borders, Horn and East Africa 2022.